Welcome to another episode of Natalia Con Gusto. It's my pleasure to be here with you once again, demystifying cocktail spirits and ingredients so that you can make better cocktails at home. Before we begin, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe so that you are aware of all upcoming videos. In today's cocktail, you will only need three ingredients and I'm so, so, so excited to be presenting to you two of my very favorite ingredients. One of them is brand new. Literally, it just came on the market a couple months ago and I am in love with it. Both of these products are from the Fratelli Branca portfolio and oh my gosh, they are delicious. The third ingredient that we'll use is a lager, but we'll get to that momentarily. First, I wanna start on talking about this Punta Mess Vermouth. Now, Punta Mess is a sweet vermouth, and like most vermouths, the botanicals that are used inside of here are proprietary. They're closely guarded, kinda of like Coca-Cola, but actually Coca-Cola is a good way to think about it because there's lots of different botanicals in here. Punta Mess is a gorgeous sweet vermouth, I already took the liberty of pouring myself a wee bit. Let's give it a taste. Oh my gosh, this is so good. There's this beautiful, vibrant orange note to it. What you'll usually find with vermouths is that while there is a sweet component, there's also great acidity. The sides of my mouth are watering. So it's incredibly complex. There is a notable bitterness to it. Now, all vermouths will have wormwood, which is a bitter plant coming from the Artemisia family. So they all have an element of bitterness to it, but Punta Mess specifically has an added dose of bitterness to it, which is what makes it quite unique. Now, even though the recipe for vermouths is closely guarded, not just with Punta Mess, but with most vermouth producers, we do know that some of the most common botanicals are things like cardamom, coriander, ginger, sage, clove, allspice, star anise, mace, lavender, bergamot, the list goes on and on and on. So when someone describes to you a vermouth and they say that it's got these citrus and warm spice notes, that's really what they're talking about. There's a whole lot of spices and herbs in here and it makes it quite complex on its own. Next up, we have the ingredient that I've been dying to get my hands on for the last several months. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Please run out and buy yourself a bottle. Once again, nobody's paying me to say any of this. I just am such a big fan of this product. It's quite delicious. So you can see here, this is Carpano Botanic Bitter. This is meant to be a competitor to all the other bright red bitter aperitifs on the market. You know what those are. I'm not gonna bash any other brands, but I will say this, that this new product has 40% less sugar than the major players in the market. And we all know, if you watched the last video I put out, why I like spirits and ingredients that have less sugar is because it really allows me to layer different flavors without bombarding anyone's palate. And this is what Carpano Botanic Bitter does. It's gorgeous, let's give it a taste. Okay, immediately, this is bitter, and that's a good thing. Stay with me here because it's really gonna complement the cocktail. Now, my mouth is watering because of that bitterness, but there is a slight sweetness to it, which is really quite lovely, which makes it drinkable on its own. If you had something that was purely bitter, you wouldn't wanna drink it at all. So we do need a little touch of sweetness there. Now, unlike the vermouth producers, Carpano Bitter does disclose what they use in here, and they use ingredients like saffron, there's rhubarb in here. We also have gentian, which is providing these gorgeous peppery notes to the aperitif. There's also orange peel from the Mediterranean, and of course, there's a little bit of wormwood in there too to provide that bitterness. This is really, really lovely. I especially love that it finishes so clean as opposed to the competitor brands. Um, not knocking them, this is just something that is new on the market, and quite frankly, it's really, really good. I love it. Now I told you this cocktail was gonna be really, really easy, which is why I'm not even in my kitchen. I'm in my living room right now to prove a point that you don't even need any special kitchen equipment. You just need something to measure with. You need your vermouth. So let's start with that. We're going to measure an ounce and a half of our Punta Mess. You'll pour this directly into your Collins glass. 
Next, we're adding the same amount of our Carpino Bitter, which is an ounce and a half. Okay, we have our vermouth and our Carpino Bitter in here. Now we just need to add ice and then we'll top it off with a lager. I told you, this is very easy. I will never lie to you. We'll top it off with a local lager. This one comes from Revolution Brewing. I always wanna support local whenever possible. Oh yeah, look at this. I am so ready for this drink. Okay, one final note, we do need a garnish. And then we'll just add a little orange directly inside. This is really easy. That is so refreshing. You have to try this. Literally, this cocktail will take you all of two minutes to make at home. It's delicious. It's like, it's like a pantry cocktail. You don't have to go out to the grocery store and get anything. It's ingredients that you probably already have at home. By the way, I have been scouring the internets and I noticed that a lot of people are asking about vermouth these days and also wine cocktails. So please, if you would like an episode all about vermouth, there's a lot to say about it and I love vermouth so I'd be happy to do it. But if you would like an episode on vermouth or wine cocktails or if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, let me know. Drop it in the comments section and maybe I'll give it a go. All right, that's what I've got for you today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>